I've hit the green button once so far and uh, about destroyed the thing. Had that nice crash. And uh, I didn't get on video, so we'll uh, hit the green button again, but this time we'll do it with a camera. And uh, that way, you know, we can share in the joy if there's any more disasters. I don't know how long this will take. Well, I don't know if this will be a two minute video or a five minute video. Down and spotting with the pocket clip. Now doing some decorations. My fingers on the emergency panic button right now, so hopefully I don't need to hit that. Okay, this is the tool that destroyed stuff last night. But I did figure out why it did it, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Now it's cutting those slots, my decorations. Probably should have turned the music down before I started because instead I turned it on and up. It was louder than I anticipated. So there's the third slot. Here's where it crashed last time. Indexing around to get to the first slot in the second spot here. Yay, no crash. I like it when there's no landing. Air and it's gonna make even more noise besides just the music. Because I should be running coolant, but I'm not, so that you can see what's going on here. Finger back on the red button. Yay! Tool number two. Tool number three is going to be good. the drill. It's going to come and actually drill the hole through the pocket clip. Now a pocket clip will fit in there and the end cap. Now, now it should come and cut that pocket where the pocket clip fits. And then go and do the slot for the actual bolt. So all this stuff I used to do by hand. I can do everything that we've seen so far without this fourth axis. This right here I did a different method. I can still do it, but it used a different method. But in a minute, it'll do some stuff I can't do without this fourth axis. So there, it ramped down in that cut. Now it's doing its cleanup task. And there we go. The slot is in there. Now here's where we get the stuff that I couldn't do before. Breaking the sharp edge here. I couldn't do that. That fourth axis moving all on one side. Breaking that sharp edge. Now let's just throw a little lead in there just so it doesn't snag on your pocket. There we go. Let me figure out how to uh, jog it around. This axis is new to me. I mean, I literally, this is the second time I hit the green button. So there's the part. All the slots, the dots. There's the pocket. A little bit of a bird there. I can make that go away. That I saw it reflect. You can see the chamfer that it's uh, putting on there, breaking that sharp edge so that it doesn't snag your, your delicate little fingers. Anyhow, there we go. Cross fourth axis. There's the crash spot. Oh, oops. Yeah, didn't work any wonders for the tool holder or the spindle either, I'm sure. But actually, it didn't hit all that hard. It just sat there spinning for a second. It bumped it, and that's a uh, a weld from the tool holder. It kind of just burned itself in there. Anyhow, there we go.